everybody, Chris Thurber here. Really happy that you could join us for this EOT tutorial. So welcome. For those of you who are joining us live or watching this tutorial, certainly hope that it helps you set up expert online training for the upcoming summer. And also I have an opportunity to show you some features of expert online training that will help you maximize the benefits of your subscription. So just a quick word about myself and about the founding of Expert Online Training before I do some screen sharing with you and can um, walk you through both the setup and any questions that you have. I'll also show you where on the site you can find the help that I've created in video format as well as some of the tips for boosting the stickiness of the learning that you're providing to your staff. So I'm a psychologist by training and a professional educator. I've been working with schools and camps for my entire career and in the last 20 years have been really fortunate to travel to different schools and camps to provide on-site workshops. But knowing that almost all college students and many high school students complement their classroom education with online learning, my co-founder Evan Helte and I knew that doing some online engagement with camp staff prior to the start of the season was really the way forward. As you may know, accreditation standards both in the U.S., in Canadian provinces, and around the world have become more involved. The industry of camps, both day camps and overnight camps, as well as other summer youth programs, be they summer schools or parks and rec departments, have also become increasingly professionalized. They're more sophisticated, they're more demanding. Parents have a higher standard, higher standard than perhaps ever before for what kind of summer program their kids are going to engage in. We want to complement the work that our wonderful teachers are doing from September to May with something that is outdoorsy, that is physically active, that puts a lot of learning on students. Um, and to be very child-centered requires that the surrogate caregivers, that is to say your counseling staff, are really tuned in to all different aspects of youth development. So our goal at Expert Online Training is to complement the wonderful work that you do during your on-site training with some pre-arrival self-paced online learning. Expert Online Training is not a substitute for your on-site training. Only you can do that in a very customized way. But Expert Online Training helps your staff adopt a professional mindset, get some training on some basic, intermediate, and advanced topics that allow you to go into greater depth when your staff arrive on site. So this preseason online training complements your on-site training, and together those two things help your staff really rise to the professional level that is now expected for all summer youth programs. So let me uh, switch over to a screen share here and talk you through some of what I think are the most interesting and important aspects of expert online training. Um, once you log in, you will look at a dashboard similar to this, and you have a couple of fun things that I suggest you do here. The first is that you customize in some way the appearance of the dashboard. Um, you can do that both by uh, taking this uh, you know, image here and um, uploading something uh, of your own choosing, obviously. Well, hey, if you want my photo on um, your dashboard, uh, I won't be offended at all. But you probably want your camp's logo or your Parks and Rec Department's logo or your photo or a photo from the program. And um, that's certainly one wonderful way to customize the dashboard. Another thing you can do is um, upload an image here that, um, again, is of your camp or um, of your summer youth program, and I'll show you how to do that kind of customization. You're going to click on administration here and scroll down to uh, customize dashboard logo, which is down here at the bottom. When you click on that, again, you'll have an opportunity to upload um, whatever sort of logo you want, edit it in whatever fashion you'd like, and you can use a program like Photoshop or maybe something simpler, just the Microsoft Photo Editor or um, your Mac-based photo editor that comes with your computer 
to create the proper aspect ratio, this is about four times as wide as it is high. So um, that will maximize the space that you have up there for customizing your dashboard. So let's take a look at the parts of the dashboard. We'll go back to the main part of the dashboard here. And again, uh, with apologies to anyone who considers themselves a power user, I just want to make sure that I'm going over some of the fundamentals here post login. The dashboard is the control center for the person who is administering the EOT subscription. It may not be um, something that all of your staff, well, all of your senior staff need access to, but um, there may be somebody at your camp or summer youth program, perhaps that's the leadership director or assistant director with whom you would share login credentials so that that person can assist you in the administration of, of your expert online training subscription. Remember what the goal here is. We want to complement your on-site training. So as you're designing your courses for your new staff, your returning staff, your program staff, and your supervisory staff, think about what your strengths are as a trainer or the strengths of the other senior staff. Think about the things you're best equipped to train on when you have your staff on site and use expert online training as a, as a complement to that. So there's not repetition, but there's support for that on-site training. So here on the dashboard, you can see some uh, major sections here. Uh, there's view content, there's administration, blast off, and statistics. You also have some resources here in the director's corner and a virtual staff lounge if you would like to set up a bulletin board to uh, begin some discussions, some different topics with your staff, once again, prior to their arrival on site. So before we take a look at these four major sections of the director dashboard, can I point out our online help? So over here on the left side of the screen, you see an orange tab cleverly labeled help. If you click on that, you'll see all of the different help topics for which I have created screencasts. So let's say that you have um, logged in and you'd like to pick one of our pre-made courses and you want to know how to do that. Well, if you click here on, you know, pre-made courses, um, you'll see an explanation of the topic and you can click on watch tutorial. And what's gonna pop up is a screencast or a video that you can watch. I'll show you how to pick a pre-made course if you'd like to administer one of those to a group. Fantastic, if we uh, scroll along through here, you can see that what I do in these screencasts is navigate through the screen you're actually looking at. So it's one way of expert online training offering support to help you get the most out of your subscription and it's accessible right there um, always on the left side um, with that help tab i should mention that the help is context dependent so for example if i happen to be on the view content page so let me click there on view content and uh, I want some help related to view content. When I click on the help tab here, you see that we don't have a long list of topics like we did on the dashboard main page. We just have two. Well, those are the two topics related to the particular page we're on, which is view content. In other words, we're gonna make it easy for you to pick out those help videos simply by making it context dependent. And if you ever want the long list again, uh, click on my dashboard and you'll be returned to the dashboard main page. Um, and then when you click on the help tab over here, we have wiggle to remind you, you see all of the topics reappear. So that's great. Um, but let's take a look now. Uh, and in case you're wondering this help 24 seven, same deal, um, that'll also pull up the menu you can tell that we wanna make it as easy as possible for you to get good at using expert online training. We have a wonderful and intuitive website that we're always looking to improve. And certainly if you have suggestions, please let us know. Okay, so um, you've got view content here. Let's take one more look at that and see what you can do on this part of your admin access. You can first take a look at the individual videos. We're incredibly proud of the fact that we have more than 130 video training modules. It's growing every year. We have 27 extraordinarily talented faculty members who hosts, host these videos. And you're literally bringing experts to your desktop when you use expert online training. But here you're able to uh, click on one of the categories and see the video offerings um, in that category. If you, uh, you know, mouse over uh, the 
um, the topic itself, um, you'll get a chance to see a detailed description. Um, if you'd like to watch the video, you certainly can, or download the handout, the resource that, that comes with that particular module, and you can also view the quiz. So again, this is not something that your staff have access to. They will be able to watch the videos you assign and look at the handouts and take the accompanying quizzes, but being able to look at some of the stats behind this and being able to have access to the full library in this way is something that only you, the administrator, subscriber, director of training, can do from your director dashboard. Um, so if we wanted to say, watch Cracking Kids Secret Code and we clicked on watch video, um, once again, we'll get the description here and a video player, which we can use to, if we'd like, fill the whole screen. But this is an opportunity for you to, to preview some of this content and actually know, um, is this something that I want to include in one of my courses or does this overlap with something that you know we're doing? So I'll pause that. If you have some hitching in the video play, uh, probably is because you have a lot of other programs open on your desktop or perhaps you have a fairly slow internet connection the solution is twofold one you can reboot your computer and shut down everything except one tab on your preferred browser like chrome or firefox or safari and just be working with expert online training don't be using the cpu of your computer for other things that'll help the other thing you can do is down here where it says loading slowly, click here. You can click there and choose a slightly lower resolution version of the video. It's gonna look pretty much the same on your desktop, but if you use expert online training videos to do some of your on-site training and you're projecting it on a big screen, ideally you want the higher resolution version. But you can choose lower resolution versions which load more quickly and will allow you to watch something without that annoying hitching. So you can, once again, um, be kind to your computer by restarting it and only opening your browser with one tab, or you can choose a lower resolution version of the video. But again, view content allows you to preview any or all of our 130 videos and make some wise decisions about what it is that you would like to train your staff on. I want to pause here and encourage anyone who's watching the live version of this webinar to type in any questions that you have about expert online training setup. And after we go through the setup, we will um, open the question and answer period more broadly to some of your more advanced power user questions. Okay, next is administration. If you click on administration in the director dashboard, what you're gonna see are some choices of how you wanna create courses, manage courses, and correspond with your staff. Remember, this is also where you can customize your dashboard logo or set up your virtual staff lounge. So under manage courses here, if I click there, I have an opportunity to choose from some of the pre-made courses that we've designed for you here at Expert Online Training, or you have an opportunity to customize a course. So some of the pre-made courses we have, you can look new staff, returning staff, program staff, and supervisory staff. Uh, we might want to assign one of those courses to a group of our staff. And if you wanted to see, for example, well, hang on, uh, what exactly is in the new staff course? W before I assign that, let me take a look at it. Well, you can do that. Just go back to the dashboard and let's click on view content. And one of the buttons that's available to you is check out the pre-made courses. So um, right up here, it says pre-made courses. And if I click there, I'm going to get a matrix that will actually outline for me you know, what's on these uh, different courses. So if I scroll down here, I'll see um, up here, here's the new staff course, the returning staff course, the course for program staff, and the course for supervisory staff. And what we have checked here are um, the different modules in these different areas that we recommend um, be included in coursework for these cohorts of staff. So it's a really 
interesting way to take a look at you know what what I've curated on your behalf if you want to administer your EOT subscription simply as a you know click and go um, you can customize and I'll show you how to do that in just a minute but you see here under the supervision category that most of these um, video training modules show up in the supervisory category. Um, if we went back up, say, to mental health and behavior, you see a good distribution of um, the different uh, cohorts um, looking at different video training modules in the mental health and behavior category. But this will give you a good sense by scrolling vertically um, about what we think is particularly helpful for, again, new staff, uh, for returning staff, for program staff, and for supervisory staff. Now, what if you like most of what we've designed, but you actually have some other ideas about you know, what you want to do? Well, I'll close that tab, and we'll go back to the dashboard, and I'll show you now how to assign a course to a group of staff, and also how to customize it. It's one of the key features of expert online training that distinguishes our learning management system from any other LMS or learning management system that you might find out there. So let's say you think, okay, I like the new staff course. I've checked it out and I think it's excellent. I click on new staff and here I'm gonna get the list of um, video training modules. Each video runs between, let's say eight and 13 minutes, but they hover around 10 minutes on average. Um, and I really like that. Um, this is good, but um, I am going to do my own presentation on how staff spend time off. So I, I'd like to customize this course. I would rather not have my staff watch the video training module called Wise Use of Time Off. Instead, because we're a boys camp, I want them to watch one of Michael Thompson's videos called Best Boys. In fact, I'd like them to watch both of Michael Thompson's videos. So how do I take out Wise Use of Time Off and sub in two new modules to make my own new staff course. Well, that's very easy. I'm just gonna click on Manage Modules, and this is going to show me the lineup that I've got for this course, and it's gonna show me the time and the due date. So again, incredibly helpful features. With the pre-made bundle that is included in the new staff course, you can see here, this course runs about four hours and 36 minutes. Okay, that's an estimate based on the time it takes to watch the video, the time it takes to pass the quiz, maybe check out the handout, maybe you fail one of the quizzes and have to rewatch the video, but about a half day of training, right? About four and a half hours. Well, let's remember how we wanted to modify this. Um, we're gonna scroll down to the safety category and find the video called Wise Use of Time Off. So here we are in the category called Physical and Emotional Safety. And I can scroll down to Wise Use of Time Off. And you see it down here. I'm gonna de deselect this video and its associated resources just by clicking there. You see that our time went down from four hours and 36 minutes to four hours and 18 minutes. Um, that's, that's gonna be your up-to-date estimate of um, the course you've designed. And I think that most uh, directors of summer youth programs assign between, let's say, three and seven hours or eight hours of coursework. All right, so where were we? We wanted to come up to um, Best Boys, parts one and two, uh, hosted by Michael Thompson. I'm going to click there and you see that this makes both the video, the quiz, and the resource, which is a handout available to my staff. And now we're at a course that it's just under five hours. It's pretty reasonable. I'm gonna choose a due date, not of today, but let's give my staff a couple weeks to do that. I'll choose a due date of, um, let's say, May 30th. Okay, so I've clicked on May 30th. It's showing me today's the 15th. The blue date is the due date and I'm good to go, so I'm gonna click down here on done. Now I've created a custom course, um, and that's really, again, one of the wonderful advantages of EOT is we are infinitely customizable. Now we need to put some staff members in that course, because right now it's on the syllabus, but we don't have anyone assigned to it, so we're gonna to have to click on add, remove staff. Now, adding or removing staff is as easy as clicking on their names, or if you haven't yet uploaded your first name, last name, and email address for all of your staff, 
You can either do that by hand or if you've got it on an Excel spreadsheet or some other uh, kind of spreadsheet, you're just going to export a CSV file and upload it so you don't have to do lots of typing. But let's say that we wanted um, Andy Bigelow and Karen Baruch Feldman and Kathy Shader to be part of that course. Okay, so now we've assigned, the, let's say those are our three new staff and you may have a hundred new staff. You can assign all of them to that. But once you've clicked on their names and they are added to the course, you're gonna click on done. And now what we can do is we can actually toggle between, oh, looks it looks like we added Jack as well. Um, we can toggle between uh, the, modules in the course by clicking on this button and the people in the course. Um, so that's really cool. Um, if we go over here to uh, people and click there, um, it's going to show us the folks in the course. If we click here, we're going to see the modules in the course. And we can just keep going back and forth because we may want to add staff. We may want to remove staff. We may want to modify the course. But please keep in mind, once you assign your staff to a particular course and say, hey guys, I want you all to do this. You really want to not modify the course. You, you can if you want, but if someone's already completed the course and now you add a video training module or take one away, it's pretty confusing to them because it might show up as incomplete when they just completed it. So design your course, make sure you're happy with it, and then assign it to staff. And if you decide, hey, you know what? I should have had the whole staff watch the video on waterfront safety design create a new course and give that course to everyone. That way, instead of modifying an old course, you're simply saying, there's one more piece. It takes about 20 minutes. This is what I'd like you to do. I've assigned a second course to your preseason roster. Okay, if you have any questions about setting this up, what do you do? Well, of course you can give us a call. We have a toll-free number, 877-390-3, uh, <laughs> uh, 3676. No, that's wrong. I'm gonna, we recently changed it, so I need to go and look. Um, uh, 2627, I believe. But if you click on contact us, you won't have the same problem that I just had trying to memorize it. Um, here we go, 3902267. So I was close. But give us a call Monday through Friday uh, during normal business hours, you know, Eastern time. And we, of course, would be happy, happy to answer any questions that you've got. But you also have, just as a reminder, the, the online help. And uh, we fully expect that that's going to be, um, for most of you, an efficient way to get your questions answered. Um, here are the context-dependent uh, screencasts, the little mini videos that are going to assist you in anything you want to do from this page of the director dashboard. All right, so that goes through kind of program setup and um, designing courses. You can, if you would like, design a course from uh, literally from the ground up. And um, if you have, again, questions about that or uploading the roster of your staff, um, if what I've put in the help section doesn't answer all of your questions, um, please give us a call. We take a lot of pride in the personal attention that we give to all of our subscribers. All right, so we've talked about view content and administration. Let me show you a couple more things before we wrap up this 30 minute webinar. The next is blast off. Now, I had a lot of fun making these videos and if, if uh, you know me, you know I like my bow ties. Um, each one of the videos that I've made here answers a frequently asked question by directors in the category of how do I get the most out of my subscription? So, for example, when should I give EOT courses to my staff? Is, is it now, mid-May, or you know, should I do it in a week? Um, how does EOT help with accreditation? How many modules should I assign? Uh, should I give EOT to my international staff? And on and on. Um, how do the statistics functions help? So if you click on any of these questions, um, you'll see my uh, handsome mug appearing on the screen, um, giving you the answer to this. And you know, it's it's been really fun for me to make um, because I'm proud of EOT and I'm most happy when directors write to me and say, oh, that's awesome. You know, I was really able to um, take my staff training to the next level by using EOT as a complement to my on-site training. Um, and there's no reason why any of these questions about maxing out your subscription should go unanswered. So um, please do use those. And um, you'll see I'm wearing a polka-dotted bow tie here if we randomly click on another one. Um, 
I am wearing a different bow tie and that was just something fun that I did to keep making all these videos, you know, Professor interesting. I do want to pause here um, because this video happens to be about a wonderful resource we have called Press Play. These workshops are pre-made handouts that guide any of your gifted staff through the delivery of an on-site workshop that integrates EOT videos. So if you would like out of the box, off the shelf, ready to go um, workshop outlines, Dave Malter has designed some wonderful, wonderful workshops and we call them press play workshops because they integrate EOT videos. Lastly, I'll show you the statistics page. Obviously, one of the best things about expert online training is being able to document your staff's learning progress. This helps you with accreditation standards. This helps you in defense of any liability lawsuit. When you can say, yes, we trained our staff on bullying, and it wasn't just that we can show you it was on the outline for staff training week, and actually show you who watched the videos, when they watched them, and what their quiz scores were. It puts you in a wonderful position to, as I said, defend your program. Staff can also earn certificates that include a transcript of what video training modules were part of the assignment you gave them, as well as, of course, their name. And it looks very official. And, and indeed, it is a wonderful thing to put in their personnel record or for them to take a copy of. and put on their resume that they've done this important training in youth leadership. So if I scroll uh, at the top here under view statistics, and again, this is a sample camp that um, I've just created for example, but you're not gonna see a whole lot of interesting uh, bar graphs here, but you will get to see the percentage of your staff who have completed the coursework you've assigned, um, the percentage of staff who have logged in at least once, and that gives you a little bit of a sense of where are my staff in their progress. Um, if you wanna see specifics about, say, um, their viewing of different courses, what you can do is say, I'll click here on uh, the course called Woodworking Plus, which I, um, assigned to a couple of my friends uh, as an uh, interesting thing for them to watch. And you can see some really cool stats here. Um, you see there are a couple of videos that um, the staff who were assigned to this course have watched all the way through. Um, if you want to really drill down on their success rate, you can click on their quiz score um, and you can see, um, okay, here were the you know questions that were part of the quiz. Uh, and it looks like this person got all of the questions right. Our quizzes are designed to be sort of hard to cheat on, so we have a question pool of 10 questions, and each quiz randomly draws seven questions from that pool, shuffles the questions, and shuffles the order of the answers. So if you have two or more staff who are, say, on a video chat with one another, and they're asking, oh, what did you get as a response for uh, question nine? Or what did you put for question three? Well, if I say that I put down C as a response to question three, you know what is different from your question three, and even if we have the same question, the answers are shuffled. So um, it's a good disincentive for staff to uh, not, you know, be, um, let's say, um, expedient in their taking of quizzes, but instead really make it their own work. All right, that gives you a flyover of statistics. Again, you can examine statistics for your whole staff, for one of your staff members or for a group that may be taking a particular course. And finally, I'll show you if you wanna correspond with your staff through our learning management system, we make it very easy. So for example, if I click here on um, send staff mass mail, I'm gonna have some choices that allow me to help motivate staff and correspond with cohorts. For example, I can email all of my staff who are enrolled in expert online training session uh, coursework. I can email staff that are just in a specific course. I can email individual staff members like, hey buddy, you're kind of lagging behind. Or I maybe I want to send an email to everyone who has started but hasn't finished their assignment. So I'm going to click here on incomplete and it's going to open up a very familiar looking you know, email utility. Um, I'm, I'm going to use some short codes that will assist in my um, preparation of that email. But here's the list that I'm emailing. OK, that's everyone who hasn't uh, completed their coursework. I'll click down here on next. And then I'll have an opportunity to type 
the body of the message here. Um, you don't want to fiddle with the short codes, again, to save you time. This thing that says percent percent name percent percent is what's called a short code. And that'll insert the staff member's first name right there. So you don't have to write, dear Tommy, dear Ben, dear Sam, dear Julie. Instead, our email utility will do it for you. The only thing that you need to do is type the body of the email. And if you want to do something with the closing, if you don't like have a great summer, you want to say, boy, you better get on it. Um, Type whatever you want, but keep the short codes where they are, and then you're going to click on send message. So that's a really easy way to correspond with your entire staff or subgroups of your staff that you want to get going on the courses. Okay, fantastic. That is the best flyover that I can give you. I will remind all of you participating in this webinar or watching the recording that you can always access the online help here, the orange tab, or clicking on help 24 7. And you can also give us a call. Now I remember the toll free number 877 390 2267. You can contact us by clicking on the contact us page. Very clever, very clever. And we'd be happy to help you out. Finally, I want to tell you about a brand new resource that's available through expert online training that is intended for your new camper families. And it's called Prep for Camp. Those of you who know me, know that my dissertation research was on homesickness and since graduate school i spent the last 20 years promoting campers adjustment and helping them with the separation uh, from home in order to get the most out of your camp or summer youth program you want homesickness to be of minimal intensity and prep for camp does just that in fact watching this 25 minute video together as a family and parents listening to the 20 minute podcast that i designed and kids downloading a tip sheet together that package lowers the intensity of first year campers homesickness by half so if we scroll down past our wonderful staff and click down here on the link called prep for camp which is simply expertonlinetraining.com slash prep for camp spelled p-r-e-p -E and the number four CAMP, you're going to have this wonderful resource. Those of you who are subscribers to expert online training will have an opportunity to purchase Prep for Camp, this full program for just $99. And that gives access to all of your first year camper families. That might be 30 families, that might be 500 families. But for just one price, $99, you can lower the intensity of first year campers' homesickness by half. Individual families can purchase access to the Prep for Camp program for $10 a year. That's also available on Amazon. But the advantage of administering your Prep for Camp subscription or giving your new camper families access through our learning management system is, just like with your staff, you'll get to see a list of who's watched it and who hasn't. There is no quiz associated with uh, prep for camp, but it might be very interesting for you to see uh, the level of engagement. And remember, you can send an email to those families who have not yet watched prep for camp and say, hey, this is really going to help. This is really going to help you get a lot out of the camp experience, a lot out of the program that we've designed. So we've reached the end of our time. I want to thank those of you who are watching this live and submitted questions to which I was able to respond. And if you still have unanswered questions, do feel free to write info at expertonlinetraining.com or check out the online help or give us a call 877-390-2267. Thank you so much. I'm Chris Thurber. Have a great summer.